if you type CD, you can see these nuts are in your mouth. This is a joke that a ton of programmers love. You see it all over programming media. We need serious funding to go up against Nucleus, and we don't have that. So listen. I, I will listen to the sound of you chortling on my balls. Okay. <laughs> Some big names in programming and Vim like this too. I won't mention who, but we all know. I don't know why so many of us enjoy this. If it's just rampant ADHD and we can't help ourselves, or, I don't know, maybe it's some symptom of using Arch Linux. The thing is, I think it's kind of a washed up strategy. I think the meta has changed, and everyone expects CD for change directory into that joke. So I wanna show you some new methods that you can maybe get people with. So the first thing is the man meta. If you look at, phonetically, suck my nuts, that's quite similar to suck my nuts. We both, like, the, the meaning is still clear. We haven't lost anything. And actually, if you think about it, we don't differentiate when a word ends and the new one begins when we're speaking out loud. You don't like read spaces. You kind of think you might, but all the words are just in a steady stream. So saying suck my nuts and suck my nuts, I don't know, it's pretty much the same thing. So using man combined with another word is a very powerful technique. Here's some examples. Watchman is good. Watchman nuts. Enter your mouth. Woodman. Woodman nuts. Fit in your mouth, layman, layman nuts in your mouth, and it can go on. And you might say like, well, CD comes up a lot. When would these things come up? Some of them, not so much, but there's a good technique, a little trick, where you can name like a new library or something, one of these, or just tell someone, like confidently say it, you know. Uh, how do we solve this problem? Oh, you know, we can use Woodman. What's Woodman? Woodman nuts fit in your mouth. Uh, so that, that actually works quite well. There are a couple of other bonus ones, like wood boat, wood boat when nuts fit in your mouth. Nobody really expects that, and there's obviously others, but I can't show all my tricks. Just so you don't leave in frustration that you didn't learn anything actually ergonomic, because it's all about getting faster and there's no fun in life, here's some actual CD tricks. So most people know about the CD dash. Let's say I list out my projects and let's go to, let's go to love. You can do cd dash and that'll take you back to the previous place. So if I go back to love, here's another one that not a lot of people know about because I'm assuming you know about the dash one. That's a pretty basic command. Let's actually open up a new terminal. And then I'm gonna cd to stormy, my board game. And an interesting thing here is both this directory and the love directory have an assets subdirectory. You see that? So what I'm gonna do is cd into assets here. And you can see I'm in Documents, Projects, Stormy, Assets. There's actually a very weird way to move with CD, where you can say CD and then Stormy, and then if I say Love, it'll actually replace Stormy with Love. So you can see I kind of went up and over directories, and you can do that at any level, provided the whole path is complete. So this is a very, very weird thing not a lot of people use very often, because it's unintuitive. It's actually even hard to find this. If you try to type man for CD, what'll happen in most shells is it'll pull up the built-ins page, because CD is just a built-in thing, and it doesn't have its own dedicated page even if I search it like it just kind of those are the two occurrences see so if you want to see the full documentation for the CD command there is one thing you can do which is find man that won't get you what you want but it will help you find that my nuts are once again in your mouth